What Floats in a Moat by Lynn Berry Archie the goat stopped short at a moat. He measured and mapped. He doodled and drew. He sketched and scribbled and scrawled. Aha! To cross the moat, pronounced the goat, we build a contraption to float. Or, said Skinny the hen, we could just take the drawbridge. Bah, said Archie, drawbridge, strawbridge. This is no time for a drawbridge. This is a time for science. Right, said the hen, science. The hen and the goat, alongside the moat, took stock of their cart of supplies. A barrel might float, mused the goat. We begin with a barrel of buttermilk. The hen and the goat, alongside the moat, hammered and nailed, clanged and banged. They wired and tied and built the SS buttermilk. Archie the goat climbed aboard. Ready for launch, he called. Ready, said Skinny the hen. Push, said Archie the goat. I am pushing, said Skinny. Shove, said Archie the goat. I am shoving, said Skinny. Heave, said Archie the goat. I am heaving, said Skinny. Heave. Ugh. The barrel and goat splashed into the moat. Glub, glub, and sank. Archie the goat dripped out of the moat. Take note, take note, pronounced the goat. A barrel might not float. Apparently not, said the hen. Shall we take the drawbridge then? Bah, said Archie. Drawbridge, flawbridge. This is no time for a drawbridge. This is a time for science. Hmm, said the hen. Science. Archie the goat gazed at the moat. He puzzled and pondered. He doodled and drew. He sketched, he scribbled, and scrawled. Aha! To cross the moat, pronounced the goat, an empty barrel might float. Empty, said Skinny. Empty, said Archie. Drink, Skinny, drink. Drink buttermilk, asked Skinny. Indeed, said Archie, for science. Ha, said Skinny, you are the scientist. Ah, said Archie, but you are Skinny. Skinny held her nose and started to slurp. Blech. She guzzled, she gulped, she sipped and slurped and guzzled, and sipped and slurped and gulped, and sipped and slurped and guzzled to the bottom of a barrel of buttermilk. Ugh. Bah, said Archie. Then goat and hen hammered and nailed, clanged and banged, they wired and tied, and built the SS empty. Archie the goat climbed aboard. Ready for lunch, he called. Ready, said not so skinny the hen. Heave ho! Splash! The barrel with goat splashed into the moat and floated and tipped and rolled and tossed the goat into the moat. Archie the goat dripped out of the moat. Take note, take note, pronounced the goat. Indeed, a barrel does float. And yet, said Skinny the hen, we remain outside the moat. Bah, said Archie, we try again, Skinny the hen. Again, groaned the hen. Indeed, said Archie, the third and final barrel. Drink, Skinny, drink. The hen sighed, the hen sipped. The hen sighed, the hen slurped. She guzzled, she gulped, she stopped. She could not drink another drop. Ah, said Archie, just right. The hen and the goat, alongside the moat, hammered and nailed, clanged and banged. They wired and tied and built the SS ballast. Archie the goat climbed aboard. Ready for lunch, he called. Ready, said Skinny the hen. Heave, 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 oomph. The barrel with the goat splashed into the moat. Splash and sank, but floated. Sank and floated. Eureka, said Archie the goat, and he paddled across the moat, just in time to meet the queen hurrying from the castle. Archimedes, called the queen, for Pete's sake, next time, take the drawbridge. And where is the rest of my buttermilk? In the moat, pronounced the goat.
and in the hen, moaned the hen. All, said Archie, in the name of science. Science, fussed the queen. Science? But what about my buttermilk? Bah, said Archie. Buttermilk, guttermilk. This is no time for deliveries. This is time for discoveries. Indeed, said Skinny the hen. What a relief that Archie's barrel finally floated. And thanks to Archimedes, a famous Greek scientist and Archie's namesake, we know why. Archimedes found that an object placed in water will displace or push away some of that water. The water pushes back and just how hard it pushes is determined by the amount of water displaced. So when the barrel was full, the SS buttermilk, it sank. The barrel pushed water away equal to its own size or volume. But compared to the heavy barrel, this volume of water was not enough to keep the barrel afloat. And when the barrel was empty, the SS empty, it did float, but it was too light to push away nearly any water and made a terribly unstable ship. But when the barrel was half full, the SS ballast, it weighed just enough to push away the right amount of water to get the ship to float and to get safely to shore.